Hi, good afternoon everybody. In this video, we're gonna take a look at our 12 unrestricted free agents. We got five forwards, four defensemen, and three goalies. And we have to make decisions very soon as the deadline's coming, coming up. It's about time we take a look at this, I figure again. Let's take a look at it. Now I'll give you guys some sort of Sabres fix to keep you going till tonight. I'm sure everybody's kind of getting more into the Sabres mood. I can't blame anybody for that right now. But as we move along, okay, and as we continue to move along, we're going to have to take a good look at this. And we got to make some logical decisions here. We can't just go and um, we, we're not going to clear everybody out. Let's be honest here. We're just not. There's some guys they ha that are, are, I think, are keepers. And especially after this week, I've had a change of heart with some guys. So we got to take a look at certain players and see what you guys think too because you know I uh, I just have my opinion here so okay let's uh, I got here who's in our plans who do we keep five forwards four defensemen three goalies let's get into it now Cody Eakin is gonna be what well, he is 30 okay he's 30 but he's above and beyond our best face-off guy on a team that's dead last in the league in face-offs, guys. It's just something to think about. I know everybody's been pulling their hair out of Eakin, but I'll tell you what, in these two games, I was impressed with Eakin. I was. He won key draws when we needed to, uh, especially the one, the empty net goal at home. As you've seen in the little clip I made there, the, the little three-minute video, you've seen Eakin won that big face-off. So I'm not saying because of him winning one face-off, but his, his face-off percentage is, if I'm right, it's right now better than Ryan O'Reilly, his face-off percentage. Now, is that a reason to only keep Eakin? No. You know, there has to be other elements to the game, like some goals, right? So Eakin, I don't know if he's in our plans. I just don't, off the top of my head. I just don't know if he's in our plans. I, I would be willing to guess no, okay? This is just, I'm going to put my guesses on here who I think we, we, we might move and who we might keep. So I'm going to put an X on Eakin because I think we're going to move him. Okay. Vinny Henestroza is just getting a check mark period. We got to keep him. We got to keep him. This solves a problem that we might be looking for in the off season if we don't keep him. We got that feisty character. He's, he's almost like our Marchand, but a clean version of him, you know? And he is definitely good under pressure. And I like that, and he's only 27. He could be in our plans. Henestroza gets a pass. I wanna keep Henestroza. Kajula, I just don't think is in our plans. And he's not a bad player. We should be able to get something for him if we move him, I think we're going to. I think Kajula, we're going to definitely move. It's just how it feels, guys, you know. Now, Hayden. So, uh, going to Hayden, yes. Yes, we need his physical element on this team. And the guy's willing to drop the gloves. He gets a pass. He stays. We need that. We need that grid in the lineup. He has to stay. So, these are the two forwards. And Jankowski gets... An X, and I feel kind of bad for Jankowski. It just seemed like he's the one guy that just couldn't cop a break, and is and he was impressive. He wasn't so bad as a saber, really. I mean, just as plus minus tells you that he wasn't so bad. I don't know. Is there something off the ice with him? You know, we don't know, right? We just know what we see on the ice. But is management pulling their hair out with this guy? Who knows? We don't know. I'm just wondering why did he not get a more fair shake? He's on waivers right now as I'm filming this video. It's probably about over right now, right? So I'm, I'm guessing he'll go down. Uh, he'll go down to Rochester. I, it's weird. I, I just don't get Jankowski. He's this big forward, you know, first rounder. I, I would be open-minded to keep him, uh, keeping him in Rochester, and see what happens next year. So you know what? On that, on that note, I'm going to put that. I'm going to put R for the guys I think would fit in okay in our still inside our organization. So he gets an R. Defenseman, Pizik. Pizik has probably been our most steady defenseman all year, guys. Really, if I'm going to be honest. He might not be the most physical guy, but my God, he makes the least mistakes on the ice, you know? Now, I honestly think they're going to move him, you know? I'm just going with what I believe is going to happen. Would I be open-minded to keep him Pizik for another year? Yes, I would. I think he's going to be moved, though. Uh, Colin Miller is going to be moved because he's going to fetch the most back for us. 
And Colin Miller's another good, steady defenseman. I know people have had their problems with him this year, not me. I've, I've, you guys know I like Colin Miller. So, you know, Pizik and Miller, I'm going to kind of miss. To be honest, I am. I'm going to kind of miss. So Miller, I think, is going to fetch the most. And so would Henestroza right now. But we got to keep Henestroza. We got to keep Henestroza. I, I, I think about it, and the guy reminds me of Danny Briere. You know, I know he's not as talented, but he has the heart of a Danny Briere. We got to keep this guy. You got to keep the heart and soul, guys. You do. So, Hag. Hag is, um, he's definitely not a guy that plays in the minors. He's a big leaguer for sure. Hag, I could see us keeping. Yeah, I could see us keeping Hag. Everybody's written him off that he's, he's going to be dealt at the deadline. Maybe, maybe. I could see us keeping him though, because he's our best hitting defenseman. You know, I, want, I don't want to lose the physical thing, aspects of this team and go into next year with no guys that hit. I don't want that. So, you know, I, I mean, uh, what, is Tuck going to like lead the team in hitting too? I mean, come on, we need some guys out there that do their job that way. Butcher's going to be moved. If we can move him, he might not even get a home somewhere. I don't know. It's hard to tell with him. It really is. So I think Butcher is a type of guy that uh, a lot of teams will take a chance on. Pizik, for sure. He might only get us something like a fourth rounder, though, you know? And he kind of fits in here. Miller, kind of, I think they're just, I think he's on IR because they just want to make sure he's okay kind of thing, you know? Um... Hag would be the one guy I, I could see staying. And Butcher, I'm guessing, is going to be moved. Now, goalies, okay? And goalies, I'm going to be as fair as I can here because I kind of have a warm spot for all three of these guys. I do. Even Subban, when he went in that game and he looked really good. And, you know, I don't forget, like, you know. But we got to be logical here, you know. I like, I like a mentor, and I think Anderson... Believe it or not, guys, I'm going to say it, keep him another year. Yeah, it kind of solves our goalie issue. We're not going to have to pay too much to keep him, and it would solve our goalie issue. Unless we can go out there, guys, and really get, like, one of the free agent goalies in free agency, then I would say, okay, you know? And then you let them go after. You let them go. I mean, under no conditions, you send a guy like Anderson down to the minors, you know? You just don't. Anderson, I think... Could be moved though, you know, because of his age. The only reason, because of his age. And it'd be fair to him if a team, a playoff team, is going in some sort of a deep run, it would only be fair to him to, you know, to give him a chance at a cup. I mean, he's 40. I mean, that has to come before him being a saber because the thing is, we could send Anderson out of town for a seventh round pick and then tell him, look, when the season's done, if you want to sign back here, we'll sign you for another year. Like, you know what I mean? We could do that too. Okay, Tokarski, he's 32. I've been mentioning their ages, I hope, eh? Like 27. All these guys are 27. Eakin's 30. Physics 30. Miller's 29. 27, 27. So six guys here are 27 years old. It's good. There's going to be interest. But again, like there's certain guys that I'll talk about at the very end. Tokarski, I don't think's in our plans. I just don't. And neither, I think, is Sue Ben. I, I don't think they're in our plans. I think Anderson could be for another year. For another year. I'd be very open-minded to keeping Anderson for a year. He's, he's, he's kind of like the Akposo of our goaltending team, you know, <laughs> our goalies. He's kind of the leader, the other quiet leader on the ice is Anderson. And um, we got to keep leadership when we can in our, inside, our, inside our organizations. So guys... I would put in order, if I was to put like in order who I think, who I want to see, Henestrosa would be, out of all these 12 guys, he'd be the one guy I want to retain. I want to keep Henestrosa. I do. God damn it. I don't know why I keep these things when the ink runs out. Jesus. Give me a sec, guys. But Henestrosa would get, he, he, I, I don't want to lose him now. No, not after what I just seen the last two games. No, I want Henestrosa here. No, no, no. I was having my doubts before, but I needed some proof. I got it. No, Henestrosa is a heart and soul guy. Energy. No, we need to keep this guy as a utility player inside 
our bottom six and sometimes even in the top six when we have injuries or whatever. Henestrosa is a kind of guy that can come in left wing, right wing, doesn't matter with this guy. Hayden uh, would be my number two. And Anderson, damn it. No, I would actually go with, um, I would go with Hag number three. Anderson number four. These would be the four guys I would zone in on and keep. They would be. And nothing against any of the other players, guys. Really, nothing against them at all. Really. But those would be because they still would fit into a good team, is the way I'm thinking. These guys could all play on a good team. A good team. A playoff team. These guys could help other teams. The element they bring to their game, right? He can ha he's kind of one-dimensional, the face-off guy. It's not worth it. I, I used to say this about O'Reilly back in the day, and I liked O'Reilly, don't get me wrong, I, you know, but I found at the end, we were just paying the guy seven and a half million bucks to win face-offs. It's how it felt at the end, at the end, especially when he made the comments that he's not happy there. I wouldn't be surprised if that was a lot to do with Jack. I wouldn't be surprised. But those are my four guys. Let me know what you think. I think we... Uh, I think it's safe if we kept retain these four guys. It's not eating up roster spots, as some of us might say. I think Anderson for one more year would solve a lot of problems. One year. One year. You can bring in a kid like Devin Levi for like five, six games next year. Seven games, maybe. Under this guy. And if Anderson can stay healthy is the thing. That's the thing. Can he stay healthy? If he could stay healthy for a year, hell, man, we might have had a much better season, guys if Anderson could have stayed healthy. You've seen how good he was playing right before the injury. I thought he was done even, but now like a champ, he came back, right? Proved me wrong. Henestrosa though, is my priority of all the unrestricted right now. I do not want to lose this guy. I don't. And I know he's a smaller guy and you guys always see me preaching about the bigger guys. Well, there's the bigger guy right there, John Hayden. You got to keep him. He's a beast, okay? He's a big, strong man and we need that in our lineup. And Hag is our best hitting defenseman. So unless we go and we got something locked in, we better get something then at the deadline for Hag. Because if Hag at the deadline is not moved, then Adam screwed up, okay? This guy has to be moved if we don't intend on getting him locked in. And Anderson, I think would be, I would try to find him a home so he can win a Stanley Cup and then tell him if you want. The option's open, we'll take you back, because he likes it here, you know? And then maybe when his career's over, get him as a goalie coach or something, you know? Get him in, get him in the mix of this franchise. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I'll see you tonight. I'm gonna make some other videos. I don't even know what about, <laughs> I don't know. But I will see you tonight, guys. So have a great afternoon, I'll see you then.